What's going on YouTube? Kronos here and welcome back to the PSO2 video. So today's video we're actually going to go over some pretty exciting stuff that is popping up after maintenance today on the 27th. So it'll be the 28th is when maintenance actually happens. Um, we had just recently Arcs Hour earlier today. They confirmed some pretty awesome stuff, some new content that we'll have coming after maintenance. Um, and I want to kind of jump into it now. I was going to try to wait until we had more articles talking about more of the stuff here, but they haven't gone up yet. Unfortunately, they may wait until after maintenance goes live to get the rest of those articles up. Don't really agree with that personally, but we'll have to see, or they may not be articles about it at all. Could be something to drop in the ball. I'm not hundred percent sure right now. There are, um, they are dealing with fires on that side of the country at the moment. So Shout out to all of the guys over at the uh, the Sega team that actually kept the Arc Sour going. I know that is not an easy thing to do with everything that's going on. So positive vibes to all of them. Super, super cool of you guys to bring us that content. We definitely, definitely love it. Um, especially someone who covers PSO2 for like his actual hobby, as well as, you know, pseudo side project sort of thing to do with life. Um, it's awesome to have this sort of thing available now to us the same way that, you know, PSO2 previously had a... What was it the station the ps2 station so yeah anyway let's jump into what we have found so um if you guys are watching this video when it goes up we have maintenance maintenance will start at 2 a.m est we'll go all the way to 7 a.m est may end up going over it usually tends to but we'll have to see um we may stream when servers go up i'm not 100 percent sure those of you guys have been following my social media and discord know that i've been sick over the past few days well, actually more like over the past few weeks um and it's kept me from uh really kind of staying attached to my computer for long periods of time consistently i've had to kind of move away all the time i've had to deal with like just you know, little things like that but either way we're past it we're you know stronger for it all that good stuff so thank you guys all the well wishes anyone who was checking in on me all that good stuff but we are going to be back to our regularly scheduled programming starting either tomorrow morning or the day after just depends on how we feel when we wake up but uh either way some new content to come We'll have to check it out. So to start things off, we've got Fresh Finds. Fresh Finds is updating, bringing back the main outfit for you guys if you didn't get a chance to get it. Um, tea House uniform, as well as the officer's coat. I'm a fan of the glasses, they look pretty dope. And just some triggers. Oh, we've got Baron Blossom, Dying of the Depths, uh, Defense, oh God, Mining Base. Um, Wisdom Incarnate, which we'll talk about later in a minute. Well, actually, no, Wisdom Incarnate, I think this one's the old one. This is just Old Luther. And then Manifest the Planet, planet, not planet Breaker. If I could speak, that might help. Um, so cool stuff there just popping up in fresh finds in case there's anything else you guys missed and of course fresh finds has its stuff on the side that rotates all the time so we'll keep an eye out for that one thing they mentioned that usually is only specific to french fi french finds fresh finds um is triggers are being added in the rising weapon badge shop so triggers are going to start going in for rising weapon badges one two and three um and we don't have enough for higher value amount of the Okay, I was just trying to see, I was like, what are they actually talking about? But anyway, um, so triggers will be added into Rising Weapon Badges. So we've got Elder, Luther, and, or so Elder and Luther are my Rising Weapon Badge 1s. Mining Base is in mining, uh, Rising Weapon Badge 2s. And it looks like Baron Blossom. From what I can tell, this looks like to be the solo Baron Blossom trigger. Iron Assault, so uh, Yamato, Phantasm Matriarch, so Mother, and maker of new epochs deus will all be rising weapon badge threes and for those of you guys who don't know you can actually take higher rising weapon badges and trade them down so say the fours will trade down into threes into twos into ones and it usually goes into more as you go down so they're usually worth more almost i think doubling going down each time so pretty cool stuff we'll finally get these triggers um light note it's kind of awesome these pop up but at the same time they also did confirm on the live stream because people were asking about it it was kind of like just a random side note during the stream itself but the fact that we haven't been able to trade or um, trade or sell 12 star units have been um, that are supposed to be in the game is going to be fixed after this maintenance. So like awesome, we get to farm like, you know, solo triggers finally, but right when a lot of these units will be sellable anyway. So, hey, maybe you'll farm these triggers and sell all the extra units you guys have gotten, or maybe a ton of you guys have already gotten tons of the units as it is, and you're about to put them all on the market as soon as the servers come up. Fingers crossed that the shop isn't broken again, as it has been every two weeks, but we'll have to see anyway cool stuff there so if you caught the last video i started talking about a few weapon series the last 50 or the 15 star video and the reason i talked about them was because of this mission pass so i didn't want to cover the mission pass yet i waited i know this went up earlier this has been up for like a day or so so you guys probably have already seen it but we have the mission pass season nine so with mission pass season nine we've got a bunch of different things that are coming up but the most important is the level 30 free tier Level 30 tier gives us a Founder's Amphrite. 
And granted, I don't know this just yet. It just says that it's used to upgrade the Profound Xeon series. However, those of us who have played um, Japan or played JP um, PSO2 know exactly what this icon is. This is the upgrade item for Lightstream. So that leads me to believe that Lightstream, Atlas EX, and Ophistia, I guess is what it'll be called on global, will be coming out after maintenance. Now, that is an assumption based on the fact that we're getting this here in game. I don't feel like there'd be a reason to include it if we weren't gonna be able to use it for something. Now, granted, we don't have the, uh, what's it called, the, um, the mission or the urgent quest yet in the game to go along with it. So this might be a situation where they add in the stone early just because of the mission pass. And then two weeks down the line, we get the new urgent quest that goes along with this. So then maybe they're going to be changing things up to where we can get these things differently. We don't know just yet. So this is an assumption taken with a grain of salt. It's possible that it could be now or it's possible it could be later. Either way, we'll have to see. And I apologize if you guys can hear, I live near an airport and it's too hot to leave my window closed. So it is open and a plane's flying overhead. Lovely. We'll see the best we can do to edit that down a bit. But either way, Infright Stone's here. This is pretty cool. That's the reason why I did that video in the first place to talk about those weapons, because I know a lot of people, when it pops up, they're going to be like, oh my God, what should I make? What am I doing? What should I go for? You know, what is going to make these weapons amazing? What makes them so good? That was why we went over that video. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's good stuff. But either way, let's keep going. So, I mean, there's some cool stuff in here. We've got uh, some cool outfits that popped up. We have the, <laughs> the Queen of Stage, which is kind of cool. Um, the Betty emote. I got my, uh, my backpack outfit, the first one of these. Um, this does have in other colors. Uh, they did on JP when it was a part. I think it was a part of a, uh, a scratch ticket. But uh, it looks like it'll only just be this one color for now. So we'll have to wait for the other colors to come around. More cast parts. I think these are re-releases. I don't remember exactly. I'm not a cast, so I don't keep in mind. I don't keep up with cast parts, unfortunately. It's a pretty dope <laughs> a hair drill extension. Lovely. An accessory. So either way, some pretty dope stuff. And of course, the tier 30 is the, st the stone. So that's kind of the cool thing from the, or kind of the big news drop from the mission pass. Um, they also showed off a few other things that we're going to talk about here. Most importantly, after the stream itself, they did provide a code for a camo, the Hyper Ninja. And I'm actually going to show you guys the Hyper Ninja in game because, to be honest, it's too good not to show. Um, so the Hyper Ninja, basically, we got Hyper Ninja, we got um, 100 SG, and we got three Tribus. Just by entering in this code, just to keep, my, or just so you guys know, this is a typo. It's not actually a claim period, for, or it's not this claim period specifically. It is available right now. They are going to change this and update it. So when they post it on social media, it will look proper. But I just wanted to get this screenshot out as soon as possible. So if you guys were on my Twitter, you probably saw this and probably saw like, what the hell? How is this even possible? Yeah, no, you, they're, they're, you can get it right now. You're fine. Um, you have until the 12th. So. There you go. Um, but I'm going to show you guys this in game because <laughs> the Hyper Ninja is pretty funny. I actually need to grab a jet boot really quick. I believe I have one around here somewhere. There we go. Because it is a camo for sword. Let me show you guys really quick. <laughs> it's a camo for double saber or for dual blades, sword, and jet boots. Yes, you heard me right, jet boots. So the funny thing about Hyper Ninja is it doesn't scale its size at all down. It stays just as large. And I'm I'm a fairly, you know, I'm a fairly tall character, tallish, not super tall, but you know, tallish, and as you can see it already clips into the ground. And you can see just how big these are. They're pretty ridiculous in scale. And the best part about this is uh the jet boots. So let's uh let's equip a pair of jet boots. And show you guys what happens when we switch to jet boots. Oh, funny. So they're still here, right? They're probably going to change when you put them on your feet, right? Yeah, just barely. Uh, they just become shorter swords. They're basically just swords on your feet. So yeah, that's Hyper Ninja for you. Kind of crazy. Still clips into the ground horrifically, but uh, pretty funny looking camo. And if you're kind of curious where this came from, this is actually a fan-made camo that was uh, released over on the JP servers over on... Um, PSO2 Japan, uh, they have like contests for people to make camos and then the players vote on them and the winning camos actually get added into the game, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to take this off because I can't stomach looking at this consistently like this any longer. It's cool if you have the right setup for it, but other than that, it just looks kind of silly. So 
there we go back to our character so the cool thing about this right you guys might have seen a little bit of a spoiler in just a moment but cool thing about this right is that this is a camo these are one of the camos that i was concerned about right so a lot of these camos trying to figure out how they were going to be added into the game and it looks like what they're doing is just making them little rewards here and there what this is making me really happy is my favorite camo in the game the one that's uh the legally the legally distinct keyblade and uh um what was it elucidator and dark repulsor combination that i use over on jp um that was also a camo that was made uh, that was a fan-made camo so here's hoping that that's going to be available in the near future we'll have to see it'll be a while probably but i mean when it comes when it comes available it's gonna be sick i'm gonna love it but usually what they do with these camos is they um whenever they're whenever a camo wins they make it they put it in game and they give it to all the players right so it's free um i know that was a big concern for some people they were like oh well, are they gonna add into a scratch we're gonna have to pay for it. it's gonna cost star gems no they just straight up are giving it away so good on them good job sega great choice to wait to provide this so the last bit of news is kind of a little bit of a of a of a bomb. I wasn't expecting this yet, to be honest. I thought it would be later. I thought it was like to be honest, I thought it might have been like early episode six. But now that I think about it, it might have come out in episode five. And just because I wasn't really into the content then is probably why I didn't realize it. So Endless is coming out. And, and for those who don't know what Endless is, and I only got it, the, the way I could get this was a screenshot of during the actual stream because they don't have any like anything up about show up. up nah. I could speak up about it at the moment but endless quest essentially is just a um it's how can i describe it it's almost like a time attack makes it a little bit of a roguelike essentially i think someone on my stream actually put it or someone from my discord actually put it pretty well it's kind of like bloody palace if you've ever played devil may cry essentially you start out and you have a set amount of time and as you're going through these stages killing enemies you get specific um objectives and if you complete these objectives you actually get more time added on so going through these stages you want to complete the objectives kill the enemies as quickly as you can but also making sure you complete enough objectives to keep your time up now endless does continue as it says technically endlessly at a certain point enemies are going to scale fairly hard the amount of time you take is going to take longer and you're only going to be able to go for so long at the moment i know on jp i think the current um endless routes have them lapping endless three times if i remember correctly and there are two versions of Endless. There's this, or the base Endless, or the Endless Rondo as well. I can't remember the exact names, but I'll be honest, this is content that I am very, very, very unfamiliar with. I personally did not do Endless over on JP, so not really my cup of tea, but it's kind of cool that it's going to be available. And I did tell myself that when we do get Endless, I do want to kind of dip the toes in a little bit, give it a shot. Solo Endless is kind of something to do. Oh, by the way, I mentioned you, it scales based on the number of players you have for the, for the actual, um, for the actual uh, reward, or not reward, I'm sorry, the points. Basically, when you're going through Endless, you're, you're getting points for what you're doing. The longer you go, the more points you get, and then the better your score is at the end. And you're going for, obviously, the highest score you possibly can get. And if you have less people, that means you get more score, technically speaking. So it just it's supposed to scale linearly with the number of people players you have. So solo Endless is definitely a thing a lot of players do. Well, I guess I can't say a lot of players do over on JP, but solo Endless is a piece of content that players do over on JP to kind of test their, their metal. And it does pose the question slightly because there are strategies that are used for Endless and Solo Endless that what happens when we don't have access to the same weapons that they had access to on JP? I do believe current routes have certain parts or certain bosses using weapons that we don't have access to. Um, however, I'm not too concerned, to be honest, because players tend to adapt fairly well. So we'll have to see what they come up with and see how things go. But Endless is coming. That's kind of cool. So if you were looking for some, uh, looking for a challenge, this might be your more of your cup of tea. So Endless, awesome, awesome stuff. But yeah, guys, that's really about it. When it comes down to all the content, I was pretty blown away when I heard about what we were actually be getting. Oh, actually, I did skip one thing because there isn't an article about this. And it's kind of difficult to... Uh, to talk about and it's mostly an assumption so if we look at the actual let's see is this the most recent one yeah the urgent quests we do have two new urgent quests coming wisdom incarnate which they did announce this one during the stream so wisdom incarnate is um it's omega falls luther so it's luther as he was beforehand however it's the omega version of him so he does have a few new tricks just to keep in mind um where you guys usually would be using i believe it was uh mirage um or blind on him you're actually going for poison now so different way to open his clock but there are different mechanics with that it's not just that there's other ways that it works so then mind and there are i believe they said there was a four-man version of him as well as his 12-man version so keep an eye out for that but if you scroll down here and take a look at the following week we can see queen's nightmare earth steps which 
from my knowledge, there was also an Omega Falls um, apprentice where we actually went down through, like we followed like a drill essentially, down into the earth, and then we ended up finding apprentice at the end. So it was a pretty crazy fight, uh, a pretty cool fight. So um, I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be, but we'll have to see. And then th this all kind of brings up the mindset, like so. Okay, so it goes all the way, yeah, it goes all the way to the following Monday. This all brings up the mindset, and a lot of people are kind of thinking of. Hey, what about all the light stream stuff? You mentioned there was a boss we have to fight for light stream stuff and notice how he's not here yet. So this is why there's a possibility that we may not be getting those 15 stars after maintenance, but there is also the possibility that we might be. So they've usually been pretty forthright, um, pretty forthcoming with information about what we're going to be dealing with. And I guess they might be setting us up in a way that we can get these weapons fairly quickly um, and maybe not encourage people to do or, or get your fresh or get your um mission pass instantly and burn your star gems because i know that was something a lot of players were kind of annoyed with people were like oh well you know by giving us this availability we were pushing you know the use of star gems which is also pushing the use of money so on and so forth it just depends i guess on your perspective but it's possible that we could be waiting two more weeks but i did want to get the information out to you guys as soon as possible just in case we're not but uh that's about it when it comes to content i did want to do a quick little shout out um let me see, go back to the basic page real quick i think it was this one yeah i like that cool cool so during the arcs hour, they did have Cami on, um, Cami Cakes over at uh, Twitch.tv touch Cami Cakes. Super, super, uh, super, super awesome. He was the first content creator from PSO2 to actually be on arcs hour. Um, this is a huge, huge thing. Represented content creators fairly well, if I do say so myself. Dropped awesome knowledge. Had, I mean, it seemed like a very comfortable stream. So it was super cool to see him on there. So you know, hats off to you, Cami. It was awesome just to kind of be in the stream to see that and to see how the response was that they had the interactions and all that good stuff. So and even provide information to the community. I hope this is something that continues forward, to be honest. Um, I'm actually pretty, pretty stoked to see that they actually were bringing some people on. They were asking they were asking for this information, too, which is shows good or shows uh, good ingenuity, not only from Cami's perspective of him providing the information, but them asking, you know, hey, look, what are tips that you have? So on and so forth. So cool, cool stuff. Um, but that's really about it, guys. If you guys have any questions. As always, feel free to toss them in the comments below. I like on the video is much appreciated. It absolves you half of your ad block and the half is absolved by subscribing. Both are completely free and help me out a ton. Click on the bell icon if you want to be notified of whenever these videos go live, as well as any community posts that I make. And I will try to start posting about the um, the streams again in the community posts. I know I didn't want to beforehand. It felt kind of spammy, but to be honest, what are they there for? So you guys want to keep that sort of stuff. There you go. If that's not really your jam, you can always hop into the Discord and get pings that way or follow me over on Twitter where I post Pretty much whatever I'm thinking about, whenever I feel like it. Sometimes nothing, sometimes a lot of stuff. I'll have to see. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care and peace out.